Welcome to SQL Reporting Service, video number 42. In this video, uh, we are going to cover the deployment in SQL Reporting Service. So far, in last video, I showed you like it was one click away deploying the reports in Reporting Service, right? And what you see was uh, when we did the right click and deploy via doing some settings, we were very much capable of deploying not only the data sources but all the reports what we saw so today I'm gonna show you the second feature which is done from this UI so what we'll do quickly we'll go into the Visual Studio and start creating a report just like we do all the times let's call this report as report 11 just for the demo purpose let me go quickly create the data set which is going to be a generic one which you are seeing on the right hand side okay what on the right hand side is under the shared data source what you're seeing is data source that's what I've binded in here let's open the query designer right click add a new table get so let's say I'm taking the products that's it close it down select all hit ok and it's done right so we got something for the playground so this is my report data and this was the data source I was talking about so basically this guy is pointing at this guy right so the next thing is right like uh, I need to add a tool so let's bring the table alright and take this guy down and report data up let's get some more space and let's add a new column to the right let's add one more column to the right let's give this header as some girly color I don't know let's pick uh, let's say this this will do next thing we're going to start dragging product ID product name then the quantity per unit unit price and unit in stock and I guess that will do besides that let's get ourselves a little room which actually didn't happen that anyways so let's save that and see how does the report looks like oh and it looks pretty right so you got a lot of things going on in here so now once this report is ready what I need to do is I need to say build once the build succeeds I need to rebuild so I know this report is ready in this section so what next I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open my this thing called as the reporting service configuration manager which I can get it very well easily under the configuration tool once you open that you can see this and from there you got like web service URL database and the reports manager URL right now <coughs> I'm opening that up and as you can see this is what you're seeing right but over here the report 11 is not there what we just made right now so report 11 is down somewhere here so what happens is a lot of time you know in production you cannot go and like you know say deploy solution and something like that sometimes it happens you know like you forgot to check in the files so while deploying few of the files got messed out but this is one of the way you know you can again upload the file into the system so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say upload file I'm gonna choose the file and let me get the location first right click and I'm getting a location so this is my location and the location what I'm getting is and the location what I'm gonna choose is this is where my project resides so what I'm gonna do is uh, where's the page it says browse I'm gonna paste in here and I'm gonna go for the report 11 and I hit OK I call the name of the report as report uh, 11 if that file already exists and you would like to apply a new changes then you can overwrite otherwise this is for the first time hit OK and the moment you hit OK the report starts showing up but this report is not going to work as expected it is gonna give me some error like you know the data source is not valid and blah 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 so what we need to do is I'm gonna copy this guy because the problem is what you see is over here you see a down arrow but when I click on it, it nothing works so IE in IE for you see it works fine so I'm gonna right click I'm gonna paste 
now I think it's gonna ask me for the authentication and this is gonna take a while and the moment I do that it prompts me for an account which I have the different accounts working with so this is my account and this is my password so once I'm authenticate I'm in let me get the details view and let me get uh, my report 11 which I have just encountered so if you look at the Firefox the arrow I'm trying to click here it doesn't work but when I go to IE it gives me an option to do a lot of things like uh, manage okay so I can manage this and as you can see this is my report I can have any description what I like then I need to focus for the data source and the data source which is not the valid one so I need to give him the data source which I have right here which I can show you in here let me go back home so basically what I'm doing from IE is I'm attaching this data source which is generally not required in your case but in my case I got some problems so it's not appearing and in the end let me restore one second and there's an apply button if you can see apply and it's done next thing let me get back to the Firefox and let me get to the home demo reports where's the report 11 and now it starts working as expected right so you got the idea right so this is pretty simple pretty basic how you deploy the reports in SSRS uh, about so this is basically again I can say this is done and about part 3 and 4 I'm extremely sorry I'm not uh, able to do that because I did try to do the third option which I have never experienced in my life but actually it didn't work out in my case so I'm sorry I cannot give you a demo on this and this I believe few tutorials might be available on these guys or if there are some experts are available on this they can help right so anyways uh, you guys are clear with first two option wise they are pretty basic and very simple so in case if this video helps you in some way then please share this video with your friends subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video good night and take care